So I've just discovered I've just discovered yet another awesome mode. Um, input mode two. And if you just pull, I found it by jumping between different ones because I noticed that if I jump between certain ones, it would give me like a nice little thing. And I just like go like that. And I was like, oh, that looks pretty cool. Wait, if I just hold that in the same place. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's beautiful. I love it. Check that out. Check that out. Video feedback is an absolutely amazing thing. And like, like I said before, this is literally just like one channel feedbacking into itself, feeding back into itself. It's just like complete garbled mess. It's excellent. I do wonder if anyone that like bought one of these at the time, I mean, when were these made? Like in 72 or something, I have no idea. But if anyone actually like used one of these to make this kind of stuff, I mean, look at that. It's like Ryoji without any of the form. <laughs> it's just super beautiful. I've pulled the in up as well. Oh, that's quite nice as well. It's kind of, kind of noise instead of like something cascading into white. Back into cascading noise, back into patterns. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good. I'm so happy with this right now. This has been worth all of the head bashing against the wall that I've had so far trying to get this bloody thing working. Okay, I'm going to get some actual videos for it. Let's, let's do that. That'll be fun. So I keep trying to do something else with this other than just playing about with all the effects that are on it, but actually there is so much to be done with this. Right, okay, so we've got like, like what are these, digital frame synchronized? I, they're just like effects really. There's a thing here called strobe. Um, there is mosaic and there's paint. So let's just, uh, just show you real quick what strobe does. Oh, come on, focus. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. That's that. Right. So we turn strobe on. See, it's moving a lot slower. Right? If I, like, bring the key level down a bit so it goes all crazy again. You see how long it takes to actually do anything. I turn the strobe off. We just get, like, a nice garbly, horrible, messy thing right here. There we go. Horrible, messy video. Beautiful. Right. Turn strobe on. Just look how slow that moves. And that's with, like, the strobe up barely anything, right? So the more that I turn the strobe up, the longer it takes between each frame. Between each frame. So it's moving super slowly. But yeah, turn that back down to what it was to begin with. So we see off and back on again. Now, this is the exciting part. Check this guy out. This is the mosaic. And what mosaic seems to do is downsample that video. So we see it just turns into complete blocks. And it looks like it, it looks like a Tetris level just gone horribly wrong. Like, do you know how much time people spend on Max MSP trying to make stuff like this? And it's just there, inside this machine, from the 70s. And... I have so much excitement right now, I can't even begin to explain. Just look at that, and then we'll bring a bit more mess into it. And the more mess I bring in, the more garbled it gets. But it still remains as that, like, 3D block kind of texture. It's just, like, super beautiful. It just gets more awesome the more I use it. Let me turn the stroke back down a bit so it's moving nice and quickly. Yeah, we'll see, like, just as I pull some of that in. 
how garbly it can get. I still don't know what the positioner does though. I imagine that'll make a bit more sense once I've actually like used the mixer for like its actual intended purpose, but who wants to do that? When you can just like make lovely little cubes by oh no, killed it. Turn the superimposed effect back on. Right then. So yeah, there we go, that's that. And we can make them yellow, and we can make them cyan, and we can make them green, and we can make them magenta. They don't seem to like magenta right now. Hmm. Oh. oh that just looks even more banging. Dude.